Okay, first thing for the batch, we want water in the mixer and a nice big fat pinch of fiberglass. That breaks, uh, breaks down with the water and it becomes very stringy and just binds, holds all the uh, cement mortar together, makes it really strong. Next thing we need is sand. So I'm gonna start with this mix, cement mortar mix is, uh, I'm doing it, three buckets of sand to half a bag of cement, 94 pound bag, half of that, and uh, fibers and water. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this in half buckets, make it easier to pick up. It's one bucket. That's two buckets. Next, I'm going to put the cement in. Start off by, instead of trying to pick up this bag all awkwardly, start by taking a few shovelfuls. Now that I've lightened the load, take the rest of the bag. One more bucket of uh, sand. Now it's just a matter of getting the right consistency. We want it to be pretty loose so it goes on nice and thin. And uh, I'll show that to you in a second. Because it'll, I need to clean off the mixer else it'll all harden up. Yeah, when you're doing it solo, you gotta clean the mixer after every, after every batch. And it's very nice to have a hose with pressurized water to do that. Otherwise you're scrubbing. The reason why I didn't have to put a whole lot of water in there is because I already had basically the exact right amount of water from when I was cleaning it the last time. All right, so the first step, we need to wet the, the concrete that we're gonna be uh, plastering over that, that helps uh, make a nice bond between the, uh, the new coat and what's there already. So just the light misting. 